Well, it is cold out there. I was shoveling today. I thought I did a good job, left for work, and it looked like I hadn't even done much because yeah. these winds are just so nasty. And, Bill, we're not done with that yet. We really aren't. Uh, still some breezy conditions overnight, maybe 10 to 20, still gusting 30 miles per hour. So a lot of rearranging of that dry, fluffy snow that was falling from the sky and that was already on the ground. And you can still kind of see that with that misty effect over uh, downtown La Crosse. That is the light snow falling and still some light snow flurries uh, or light snow uh, kind of blowing around as well. Now 32 deceiving high. That was just after midnight. The daytime high was only 17. Uh, 28 and 12 are the averages. And just under an inch of snow uh, recorded out at the La Crosse Airport. But boy, it was one of those systems where it was tough to measure just how much snow you got uh, because it was blowing around so much. Uh, 14 degrees, still some light snow out at the La Crosse Airport. Gusty northwest wind sustained still around 20 to 25 miles per hour, making it feel like 4 degrees below zero. And the pressure is rising rapidly. So visibility still showing 1 to 3 miles in many spots. And that that again is a combination of the snow that's still falling from the sky and also the snow that's blowing around on the ground, especially the uh, higher terrain, the open areas, the ridge tops where uh, blowing snow has been an issue through the day. And look at this dump of cold air backing all the way up to the front range of the Rockies through the central plains, mid Mississippi River Valley. And we're going to be in the heart of it for the next, uh, say, 48 hours or so. Uh, current temperatures low to mid teens, already single digits to the west, a good 15 to 25 degrees colder right now than this time last evening. So a big change for sure. And winds out of the northwest, 15 to 25. Still some gusts every now and then above 30 miles per hour in spots, and that's pushing wind chills into the single digits below zero even teens below zero already to our west. Now here in the cross will drop to around maybe nine or 10 below for a wind chill overnight early tomorrow morning. So areas east of the river, single digits, maybe some teens below zero. West of the river as cold as 20 to 30 below for those wind chills. So a wind chill advisory in place from nine o'clock this evening through mid afternoon tomorrow. Common sense time, wear appropriate clothing, layer up, cover the extremities, limit your time outdoors. Don't forget about your pets and livestock uh, as well. Now, still showing uh, some light snow and flurries on radar right around and uh, east and north of La Crosse, especially. Also, some snow showers over towards Green Bay as this disturbance continues to track to the east. But this dashed line, that's kind of a stretched out area of low pressure, a trough, and that continues to add some lift. And that's the cause for the lingering light snow showers and flurries uh, for much of tonight, especially through midnight. But even after, we could see some flurries into tomorrow morning. Decreasing clouds late in the day. Not not necessarily good news because if we go crystal clear tomorrow night, boy, temperatures are going to really plummet as winds die down as well. We could see overnight lows in the teens below zero before uh, clouds increase as we head into later Friday. Now highs tomorrow only in the single digits right around seven for much of La Crosse County, uh, upper single digits down towards Crawford and eastern Vernon County. And then again, single digit highs all across the region, maybe 10 in Elroy and up to the north. We're looking at uh, right around five to maybe eight degrees for highs in many spots. So two above tonight, but wind chills, single digits, teens, 20s below zero, coldest to the west. Again, watch out for those lingering light snow showers, flurries and gusty winds. Still some tricky travel overnight. Seven tomorrow, clouds and flurries in the morning decreasing clouds late and look at the lows tomorrow night. Uh, teens below zero. Now the winds will be lighter, but we could see wind chills in the 20s, maybe 30s below, especially to the north and cold Friday six. A brief respite on Saturday, upper 20s, but cold again Monday and Tuesday, or I should say Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Highs in the single digits, overnight lows dropping below zero. Uh, once again, then we start to warm middle to later parts of next week. So uh, up and down and uh, the down is pretty far down, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially tomorrow night. Yeah, I can't even decide if there's a good time to take the dog out because for those long walks, it's just been so cold. Yeah, bundle right, them thanks, up. Bill. Yeah, thanks, Bill. <laughs> okay.